Brahmi. What's shaking? What's happening, brother? People are wondering what it's like on a summer day in Santa Barbara. My windshield wipers actually went on this morning coming into work. It was raining last night. Yeah. T's looking sharp. Thank you, Daniel, making it shine. You're gonna, we should almost, dude, you know what would be pretty rad? What? <clears throat> Is if we could load in the sequential <clears throat> boom, 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 and put each address so it'd be like, we go to the first one, we do it, and then boom, it just puts up the next one. Yeah. But no, that's fine. No, I mean, <laughs> we could, um, but you're gonna be that. our automatic system and you could just punch it in. Fair enough, I'm but, gonna have to um, do that. Here. Let's see. Have you gone in this new place yet? No, I hear it's really good though. Oh, really? Avi's all about it. I've heard oh, a lot I of people say it's really great, so. Um, I have not touched. What I'm good driving, huh? Golly. Jordan, oh, Jordanos, Jordanos, people, if you're yeah. seeing, if you don't have, I think you can see it. 100 year anniversary. They have been a staple in um, restaurant food supply here in town. Back in As it. you can uh -huh. read for, well, it was 100 years back in 2015. <laughs> okay. I think it was. <clears throat> so we're well over 100, Jordanos. Way to go. 1915, yeah. Taqueria wow. La Unique. Unica. Unica. Unisa or Unica? Unica, I believe. Okay. Yes, this is where my lovely wife is <clears throat> the assistant principal. Holding it down. Look at those flags. One, looking of, good uh, one of the highly sought after schools in town, I would say. Absolutely. Not Peabody trying to Charter. be um, biased at all. Not showing favoritism. Oh, is this the one? It's it. Oh. Right here, right across the street from school. How easy is that? Joel, another one. Joel's great. He's crushing it. He is. He's awesome. Um, you can park over there, I think. On that white? And the passenger loading, because they're not doing that right now. I'm doing it. I would. <clears throat> it's a non-issue. All right. Well, really easy to get to school if you're living here. Some people trip out about being across the street from a school, but let's see what this one's looking like. There it is, a street view of this one. All right, so here's what it's looking like looking at the school, cool little yard. Got some kind of driveway gate that looks pretty massive right there. And then uh, nice original <laughs> floors in here. And we've got, let me go into wider view here. Bam, that helps. Okay, a little living room, dining room. Let's go check out the bedroom wing here. Still got the old furnace. Looks like the gravity furnace in the ground. This is the, I'm guessing is the main bedroom. It seems a little bigger. And you've got the one bathroom. So Santa Barbara, here we go. You're gonna sacrifice on your living if you wanna live here sometimes. But well worth it, many people feel. So, and this bedroom here walks into the dining. I think we just had a bird sneak out of the house. I see you, Blue Jay. All right. Little breakfast nook. Cooking area here. And then what do we got? A little chill zone. A little dining zone. A little side exit. And then check out this pool. Wow. That's a cool little pool right there. You don't see that every day. There's that side area. All right. So there it is, San Roque, million, 750. Neighbors got a killer orange tree. Uh, this is what you're looking at. A little fixer, ready to be updated. Good. There it is. So, what did you think? I thought that place <clears throat> was Here, I'll put this in. small. You know what? Um, I, oh. I did the numbering wrong. We probably, because I got to backtrack. <laughs> So, uh, we, well, not that wrong, but we passed this Richland. We're gonna go back and see our one bedroom. Oh, the half condo million? for 525. What is that number? Uh, let's see, 3435 Richland. What time is it open? Yeah, 10 to one. <clears throat> I think that's over by Farmer Boy. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, you know this one, um, what can I say? It's freaking 
a small little house, not in great shape for a lot of money, but it's in San Roque, a great school district. You got great walkability to the restaurants and stuff of Upper State Street, De La Vina, um, great school district. I kind of a busy section right here for yeah. the, for the neighborhood. It's not like a it's busy a street. It's a little busy. Especially for drop off and pick I up. I didn't get back to the rest of the house because I was starting to drool, but um, it, it did look like with the way they have that kitchen set up that it wouldn't be terribly difficult to get rid of that wall and have that kitchen open into that living space. Yeah. And it would really change the dynamic of that house Big time. fast. Like, yeah, that's, that and I really don't, I mean, you got to figure out what kind of load bearing, you know, issues, <laughs> challenges you may have for if they're moving it. Yeah. But, um, Possibly a little extra engineering involved. But maybe a little bit, but well really it. not, it wasn't that big of a wall. It was not. Would. I mean, that's a great idea because when you got those small spaces, if you could open them up, give them some volume. And start opening towards the backyard, towards that pool. That pool was really interesting. I mean, trippy, that circular pool, but I think you could have a lot of fun with that backyard. It's like a huge jacuzzi. All right, this is kind of a cool little spot. Little apartment turned into a condo. As you could see, very kind of commercial right around here. So you got plenty of walkability. And I think this place has a pool. Oh yeah? I don't think I've ever been in this place. In this, ooh, look is this co right listed? here? Is there two opens in here or is this just co-listed? We're gonna find out, people. Uh, All right, we'll find out real soon. Let's do this. All right, so Santa Barbara, $525,000 condo. This is definitely the bottom of the market as far as least expensive place in town. That's not a mobile home. Um, there's, I remember, yeah, I know. See what this is looking like. Yeah, you've got this kind of funky parking lot across the street, but beyond that, this is actually pretty bitching with all these trees. All right, here's the first one. How much is this one? 565, one bedroom. Been updated with some nice, solid flooring, clean paint. Still has that cottage cheese, but it's actually pretty decent. And then this kitchen here has a little pass through. Got your fridge on that side. Brahmi's already posted up. Wishing that it was sunny. sunny, but that's a cool little pool setup. And then got a wall heater and back here, good storage, clean bathroom, and a nice sized bedroom. So crash pad, look at that. Nice greenery out the window that you can look at. So cool little crash pad in Santa Barbara. 550. Let's see the other one. All right, condo number two over here. That first one was just on the other side of these cool bushes, trees. Oh, all right, so this one's ready to be five and a quarter. So you're about 30 or so below the other one? 40. 40 below, all right. Flooring, do your own little resurfacing in here if you want to update this kitchen. This one almost feels a little bigger, but I bet you they're about the same. Huh? <clears throat> and then this one here has got the balcony facing out here on the road as opposed to the pool. Which, if you don't like the sound of people playing in the pool, maybe this is better. And, all right, here we go. Not that concerned about the journey. Very really. interesting. Okay, we got two, two five hundred thousand dollar condos. To well, offer. let's be very, let's be precise. Five and five, a quarter. Six five and five and a quarter. Okay, five six five five and a quarter, and um, forty thousand dollar difference. Yet I would say there was a bigger. Oh damn! I'm already failing. No, I got it. I got it. I got when it. am I putting it? Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to three seven two two. Ardea. You're thinking that it's going to take more than 40 to get that other one up to speed? Yes. What know. do you think? They're small spaces. I think you could get guess, her done. I think you could nah, get it. Yeah, you know what? They are small spaces. You're right. And 
But I still like the other one better. I'd rather look out down at the pool than out at that road. I would have, I agree. I would be curious though if you'd get noise from, since it's sort of a courtyard. Yeah, you would. But not just from the people in the pool, but like other neighbors, because the noise sort of oh, goes in and yeah. you know uh -huh. bounces around in there. True. I don't, I don't know. I've never experienced. I'm just. I didn't even think of that. You're right. I don't know if that would make it loud or not. I mean, the other one's on the street. Um, but, like, if you just want a little crash pad in SB, um, you could even probably rent it out half the year and use it half the year. That might be kind of interesting for somebody. Yeah, maybe. Get an account, you know, get a, a tab at Farmer Boy. <laughs> for sure, you're Show up that. and get your regular. Beat down. I thought the circus went to virtual, like it's um, holograms and stuff now. Like hologram elephants instead of real elephants. <laughs> oh, really? In there? I don't know. I so just what, thought you put in on general. Some, you put on some... Uh... No, like they project them out in, the, out in the, the arena, but instead of an actual elephant, it's like a hologram of an elephant huh. dancing around. I am not familiar with any of this. Black Stallion? You know, it's got a great school district, Vieja Valley, so that's... A this big, is Vieja? Plus, yeah. Wow. But it's this... It's not Adams right there? No. Or not yeah. Adams. What is it? Isn't that Adams on Las Vegas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no. Adams pulls from... Uh, from uh, San Samarkand? And Hidden Valley. And Hidden Valley. And so this goes into Vieja Valley. Um, I would argue that this should be to Adams and Hidden Valley should be to Vieja Valley. I, I'd on the accept, other side of the freeway. That makes but. sense. I'd accept that argument. 100%. Um, but they just did this road, so it's really nice to drive on, and it looks good. All feels the roads. good. Yeah, so this is nice. But it's this little pocket that is like an island because you got the freeway. We were just driving along the edge of it. Um, you've got the golf course. You've Over got there. the dealership. Um, so it's just this little island. Well, that's... You get that housing community that you access from Hitchcock, which is over there. Yeah. On um, behind you. But you can see the dead end there. So like this neighborhood is just this, this is, is it. gonna be pretty quiet back here. Yeah. Really quiet actually. All right. What do we got here? Take this from you. And three seven two two, Ardia. First open. Three bedrooms, two baths, $1,595,000. Mm, it's a good price point, I think. Yep, let's go check it out. All right, this is what the uh, driveway's looking like. I like how they just recently paved it, it looks like. Uh, also freshly painted this cool kind of cobalt blue, which is a bit trending, I would say. You know, something dark like that. I don't know if actually I've seen blue like this but it matches the Tesla in the driveway really nicely. Got some rosemary, you could smell that. And uh, this interesting little entry zone. Let's go inside and see. It's kind of got the mid-century vibe in here. I like the windows, it gives a lot of light. Making way into the kitchen. Fresh cabinetry and countertops. It's a nice little family room. Lots of light, There's windows everywhere in here. And you got a garage. And let's see. Let's check out this backyard before we go look at the bedrooms. It's a nice, quiet little spot. I mean, you hear some background noise of a gardener, but if that wasn't happening, this would be really quiet, I think. Beautiful tree, great space. And then, clean bathroom. I like the ceiling, how it continues to you know, vault, it's not flat everywhere, except for in the hallway here that I'm standing in. But you can see in these bedrooms, they painted it. I've got the barn door there. That looks pretty cool. Looks like you got some utilities, storage. And then this bedroom here. A nice 
nice little attached bath. So this is looking like the primary. And then one more, so. All right, this is gonna check a lot of boxes for people. You could move right into it. You got a great school district. You've got one, two, three bedrooms plus this office, which could be a fourth bedroom. Well, all right, so there we go. I like it. Oh yeah, a little front yard zone. It's a great spot. Golly, dude. Only a Tesla would Full just, like, realtor parking. Just, just stop and get out. There was a bunch of cars here earlier. Right. Favorite house so far? I would say so. I think that's be a good addition to our um, our little show is our favorite house of the tour. Favorite house of the tour, that's winning. That's, it's in first place right now. Yeah, because um, what he's not advertising here is the fact that it's a three two, but it had that extra office, which could be a oh. fourth bedroom easily. It didn't have a closet, but you know, for a family that needs that fourth bedroom or place to kind of flex room, that's really nice. That two is bathrooms, nice. it had a, 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 a true like primary with its own private bathroom. Quiet Bedrooms location. are small. I wonder if you could cut through the back of there, if there's some kind of trail to get over to like. I think it goes straight into that housing complex though. Right there. I know, but can you navigate and get like to Whole Foods? Going on uh, foot? I ask. I mean, you'd be really close. Or if you could cut through that way, but I think it would go right into the car dealers. Yeah. That's the thing. This neighborhood is a little anomaly. It's a little island. Look at it on a map if you guys want over by the auto dealerships and uh, check it out because it is it is unique. It's, it's good it's value always, in this neighborhood, I think. Yeah. I think because of that reason, it's undervalued, but because it's a great school district and it's convenient and quiet, you know, especially further away from the freeway. What's the address? We're good. Uh, 19, 19, 18, heads 19. Up, heads up, heads up, heads up. Don't I go know. anywhere. You're making me nervous right now. There's a lot of cars in here. Ah! What? What if they drive around that guy? Well, that sucks. <laughs> All right. Would you say 18, 19? What's going on Wait. up there? What is that? He's struggling a, to hang on to that. It's a hawk. Who just smoked a, a oh, dove. Oh, he got a himself dove. a pigeon. These guys are like, or where dove. happened to Frank? Oh, he just took dude, him out. Just took, and all those, those pigeons doves, are dude. tripping. Are doves. doves are tripping. They're like, where's Frank? Everyone's just got their necks hanging out. They're like, yeah. holy Did you just see that? Crap, did you see that? Dang. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but basically oh. we just saw a hawk struggling to keep a pigeon in its talons. Not even been a falcon. Up in the air. Wow. We recently have some uh, kites that moved into the neighborhood. It's a different type of bird of prey. Yeah. The kind that just hover and then they slowly descend. They hover and, and wait and look for something to snatch, like a mouse, and then they drop on top of it and grab it. And um, they have this screech. It sounds like there. The neighbors are calling them the murder birds because they recently moved into the neighborhood and now all you hear whenever they're screeching is just this gnarly. <laughs> really not, not a great sound, but it's a cool bird and, and they're very majestic and they've got white feathers and then they hover and like a hummingbird and just hold in one place until they do the silent death drop on some kind of <laughs> mouse. Mouse is just chilling, eating some grass. Do, do, do. Oh, I can just, just, just see in. you outside oh, in your yard. God. It's all quiet. And all of a sudden, there's that screech. And you're all, oh, oh God, here no. come. No, uh, my neighbor who's, it's nesting right next to him. I was talking to her the other day while she's walking her dog. And she said that it one of the two little ones were like fighting over a mouse. And they like chucked it into their yard. Like, you know, tug of warring over it. No way. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting real. I want to rewind the video to see if we could even see that on there. But... It's gonna be so. so I should have got mine out and taken a. I was. I blew it. I apologize, everyone, because that would have been really cool. He had freshly gotten that thing. Like it looked like its wings were all sprawled out. Like it was still tripping. Like, why is this hawk picking me? Out of everyone. <laughs> why Frank? Why couldn't it have been Joe next? He's such a jerk. Yeah. Totally took my bird seed last night. Spilled uh -oh. it everywhere. Uh -oh. I got it one at a time off the dirt. It's an investment.
there's Joel's house. He said he's gonna sell it. I know. What's what it worth? What a piece of property. Yeah, that thing's interesting because it could be developed, I think, but it's kind of historic too. And I it's don't know if they would bowl. let you. Would they? Would they maybe not let you develop it because it's historical? I don't know if it's historical. I mean, it looks like it is. And it doesn't look I mean, like it's changed, so maybe not. But it's such a cool property. They, I'm curious. I would have grown density. the hedges up high. Yeah. So Thanks. I could have privacy. But that's um, against zoning. You're supposed to keep them three feet. Is that if you're on the curb, or is it only when it's near That's everywhere. Oh. Your front is three feet until you get to a certain setback. Then I would have done a, you know, because it's maybe another six feet or something. With that said, everyone's there. breaking that rule. All over broken. the place. You could flip and jump over there. I'm gonna. Or is that a spot right there? <clears throat> I trust you. I sold the one in the back here a couple years ago. Did you? Yeah, these are these are pretty sweet. Freestanding little three unit HOA. Let's go What's check the it price out. on this? I think we're looking at you have it? Yeah. A million bucks, three bedroom, two bath. Oh, freestanding townhouse. First time home buyers right there. Mm hmm. They're circling because. Was that nine eight six? I can't, I don't have my glasses on. Nine nine five. Nine nine five. Let's do it. All right. So, a little street view of the San Andreas lifestyle. Kind of a busy street, but this one's going to be set back. The second one back in a three unit development, so that's kind of nice. Loving the roses. Look at these things. What? Beautiful. Let's go. All right, freestanding townhome on the west side. I've always liked these. Really good vibe in here. You got this beam stealing with a little bit of vault to it. Great little patio area framed in with some bamboo. That's nice. Like pantry. Ready for your Costco run. That looks nice. Kitchen with laundry and a half bath. You know, kind of efficiently stacked together in one little area. So nice to have those features in the house. And uh, nice little two-car garage. Let's go see what the upstairs is looking like here. Paint looks pretty fresh. Oh, look at this view. The neighbor. And then the neighbor in the back. Oh, bath at the top of the hall here. Bedroom with the walk-in closet. And then this is the view out this window. Just the neighbors. A yard on the side there. Nice. Bigger bedroom there. And then, excuse me, fellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got some bolt to it too. They all got a little bit of bolt up here. All right. Back down, looks like the bamboo on the floor, so it's good. And then the, uh, the community there, they got one in the back. Looks like some extra parking. There. And off the street, so I like it. This one's probably gonna get hammered. There's a cute little west side scene right there, that little greenhouse. Bam! Back. Okay, where are we going next? Let's see, Valerio this. and uh, Marquette Terrace. Which one's gonna come first? I think Valerio will come first. Let's just go to that one then. All right, west side's getting lots of improvements to their roads. Look at this mm, one. Very nice. Makes me wanna go skate it. Serious bomb down from the the top back here. I actually love doing that on the Mesa down La Marina. I oh dude, take... that was the 
best thing ever. Did that all the time. Such a nice, perfect angle to just carve. Well, you would get up, you can get up to some decent speed, but uh -huh. it then it, right when you're like, oh, I'm going pretty fast, it, it starts, starts to taper yeah, out and, and you're you just, like, oh, we're good. And you just hold that speed. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I'm gonna be fine. Speed wobbles. <laughs> Dude, the oh, dreaded man. speed wobbles as a kid bombing a hill. Estrella and Hope Ranch was gnarly. Ooh. I bombed that a couple times. And the first time I didn't really know going into it and uh, got real lucky that I didn't go down hard. Like you pulled it off or you pulled it off? Nice. That's what I'd expect out of you, Rummy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Upper West Side now. This is kind of the premier West Side neighborhood in a way. Valerio though does have a little bit of a busyness to it. Um, well, up until this turn, and then it doesn't. Yeah, past this turn, you're in the sweet spot. Yeah, exactly. Although the West Side is known for being very convenient to town, and this is about as far as you could get living on the West Side from. I didn't town. realize they did this. To slow you down. A little island to make sure that the pedestrians are safe. Where's the house? Well, there's one up here and there must be another one up there, but I'll just follow this one and get this one out of the way first. These little side streets are interesting, kind of eclectic. Mm hmm. Marquette Terrace. Marced, Marquette. What's the proper pronunciation of that? Oh, that little pigeon has no idea what's happening in the world. I think world it's a dove. Right oh, it's a dove. I think it's a dove. <laughs> Dude, Frank is in a world of hurt right now. <laughs> oh, Frank's no longer with us. That could be. Oh, this is Here we go. that house that needed all that work. This is the flip, right? No. Or is it not? I don't think My so. <laughs> I think that's this one right here. Oh is yeah, it? gosh, that thing is just buried with debris and trash. One that was for sale up here that was in the, I don't know, I might It's a tough it. driveway, I'm gonna do a grail. Grind my so rails. I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. Grind my, my nose, nose pick rail grind with the <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> oh, that person whipped it before me. And it's possibly taking. No, I'll just go behind him. SB Fine. sold. They should pull up and allow you to you can block that driveway. Alright. There's more room to pull up if you need to. No, I'm good. I'm not blocking anybody. Okay, okay. Let's give a little 411 on this bad boy. Let's do it. A million five ninety. So for reference, think about the one we saw over on Ardea for a million five ninety four. Five, that was our favorite so far of the tour. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go to a million five ninety, basically a three two, same price, just about different location. Let's see which one we'd rather have. Stubborn baby. Stubborn baby. All right, so this is the front of this one here. It's got a little bit of a porch and um, a real quiet scene here on this street because there's no traffic at all. So let's go see what the inside's looking like. All right. Clean, it's got some nice wood flooring. Good, bright. Oh, we've got ourselves a little bit of a view out that way, so that's nice. We've got this dining area. Kitchen. This kitchen leads to this patio out here. This is kind of nice, it looks like that driveway comes around so you get extra parking in the back. Let's finish in here first. Kind of a cute tile arrangement there with the original tile. Look at that heater. That's an old one. Looks like they've updated electrical. I'm listening to some of the spiel about this one, a little hall bath there. the bedroom. It's looking nice. Cool little view from the bed. You're looking at the other side of Valerio there, so you're seeing some oak trees. And this one's got a 
another bedroom here. This one's even bigger. It's pretty nice. And let's go see downstairs. So the story of this is permitted space, but not a legal rental. Oh, this is storage. This is storage. Oh, look at it. That's nice. That's actually so a that's spot. the garage, really. Yeah. Come down and go under. Please close screen door. Absolutely. Okay. This is a little habitable space that they permitted. No kitchen, or at least no legal kitchen. But you could do that with some pursuit of an auxiliary dwelling unit, in theory. Not much yard because you've got this driveway. Coming in. There's the drive. Looks like some updated electrical. Boom! Was she, was she an agent? Was she curious? Or no? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't recognize yeah. her. Yeah. Well, that place was tiny. tiny. You're really. Tiny. Like, I mean, night and day difference. Santa Barbara's so weird. I mean, same yeah. price for those two properties. I know this yeah. one's kind of got that whole Heads rental up, thing going yeah. on, but it's not even really a rental. <laughs> She's like, I'm waiting. <laughs> She's not very happy. Oh, look at the Rivian SUV. Yeah. I like it. Um, I, I see the value in that you could really do a lot more with that downstairs area. Mm -hmm. And then almost create, I feel like you could create pretty solid two units right there. Right. To me, the price feels a bit high, but um, or maybe, I don't know what these are going for. Maybe that area, other so. one's just a bit low, you know, but that one seemed right. I think that that, I think our idea was about right, but we'll go over. I think yes, that there's Garrett. I think that uh, San Andreas will go over. I think that one's gonna sit. This one will probably be on the market Ooh, for a little bit. I love Joe's calls here. I think that's gonna just. There's be another there. one over here. Yeah, we never made it to Valerio. We cut off early, so now we're in the sweet spot of Valerio where you back up to the park here. You got Ealings. Yep. Open space. You got no more traffic, and you've got a fresh road. Thank you, City of Santa Barbara. Yeah. It's a little bit wider. How do they do these? Well, and this one's nice because you have access to the um, to Ealings. Mm -hmm. Joel again. Dude, Maniac Joel's on fire. And how is he at two places at once? That's because he's got oh, Stefan, you got Stefan here. Stefan on it. Oh. Yeah, just take the take the driveway, dude. Let everyone know what it's like to drive. Well, come, um, come home on this I one. I don't know if I can get out. Why won't you get out? Oh. <laughs> All right, Let's see that oh, bush is wanna, like, that bush is intimidating, Brahmi. So I'm gonna come out here, just front row it. I mean, you just park. This you just might as well like turn your car off. That's sort of how you park, anyways. Do people notice that Brahmi likes to tell me how to park? <laughs> right here, that's good, Joe. Right. You made it close enough. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's go see. There's the street scene and the sweet front yard scene on this one. Really like that tree. Let's go see Stefan inside here. Okay, let's check out this one. We got Stefan the legend. Hello there. Hello. Thanks for being here. Look at this thing. Original floors, got the patina in there, really nice. Decent ceiling height. Not too compact. Hello. Hey Joe. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pardon. No worries. I should probably make it a little wider in there, that helps. Okay, we got some built-ins. Little bathroom here, super tiny, but cute. Again, loving the wood floors. 
This bedroom here, basic in size with some built-ins and a closet. And then we've got another room. This seems more like an office, but it might be one of the bedrooms. There's no closet on this one though, but you do have this entry space that can be closed off and added to it. This one here does have a closet and it is also next to this bathroom. So it's a nice little bathroom. And let's go outside. Looks like there's a detached garage ready to be possibly turned into a rental. That's the thing, all these single family homes now in Santa Barbara are designated duplex potential now. So you can easily get approvals to turn that into an ADU or put one on top and keep a garage. And then uh, of course Valeria on this side is always dealing with some kind of hillside and here's how they're dealing with it. Is that right up into some... Ealings? Ealings is over that way. Someone else's property. Yeah, there is that one driveway that goes up to some bigger lots right behind there. Well, there's also some open space. It almost looks like. But uh -huh. I, I do like how this is kind of down this hill. They've got a couple of fruit trees right here. Uh huh. But if you clean that up, you could you could put a little garden. Oh yeah, there. a little orchard. You put you know maybe put another maybe put an avo in. Mm hmm. Um, there's a lot of. I like where you're thinking with that one. That would be a good little hillside to get some good sun. It looks like. All right. Oh, they're working on their little garden there. I don't remember the stats on this one, but 3-2 inside, probably 1-5, I think it said. And a little side door into the kitchen. 1561 West Valerio is what that one was. $1,500,000. This one? Yep. That's probably priced right. For for the sweet location on the west Great side. Great location. And actually, I, I like the property itself. Yeah. I do too. I think it's a cool property, actually. A lot of potential, you know, that, like I was saying, that back area, you could do some terracing, throw in another, like an alvo tree or something. Mm -hmm. um, Expand your food production back there, get get totally. some, maybe a, an ADU above that garage. Cause that's a big two car garage, it had a good footprint. Like you could put a nice ADU on top of it. That'd be sort of cool without, you know. I bet that if you did put something on top, there could be a pretty decent view out of there. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Looking down the little valley right here. This is what makes the beginning of Valerio busy, is this is a cut over to get to the Mesa. Right. It's essentially Carrillo, here, and Las Positas. Yep. Unless you go all the way down towards City College, but. Loma Alta is back open. After being closed for the rainy season. Mm. All right. Oh, es Escondido Park. That's, that's Santa cool Barbara's spot. just got all these cool little parks tucked into the neighborhood. There are a lot of little parks. Good job, Parks and Recs. And Santa Barbara <laughs> holding it down. All right. The Mesa, everybody. We're at the tippy top, dropping in. There's the ocean. Look at how glassy it is. Wow. It? Sheet glass. This is where you want your electric foil. You just buzz on that. And oh, yee, that'd be fun. Yee, wouldn't that be fun? I think they might as rent them. As long as they don't break. We should, yeah. <laughs> we should look into that. Go rent one and see what it's all about. I got. I see a buddy at the athletic club um, that is all about the wing foiling and stuff and he's like come down anytime we're always there there's tons of guys they'll teach you they'll get you into equipment whatever it is really so, yeah that's just the he's like if you want to get plugged into the sport just come on down on a sunday down at Ledbetter, and there's guys there ready to you know sign up to teach you ready to sell you equipment get you graduated through the different you know stages of right right stuff that you use Oh, well, if, we, if this is our last stop, where are we going? Morel, right over there. Oh, well, if we go down that way, we could always swing into the pit and do a little pit stop. Yeah, I like Show it. Show everyone the pit. I like it. 
Nice, good hand signals coming in hot right there. In front of us? Yeah, she was throwing out, I'm turning. Or maybe not. She probably just doesn't want this Tesla to run her over. Yeah, she's like, I know these Tesla drivers. But she's an e-bike, so. Yeah. I like her safety protocol. Like the vest and the hat. And I like the basket, that's use, useful. Yeah. Oh, double go, 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 go. Yes. Bro, so made it. Follow up. Actually, if you want to see us follow up on any of these properties <laughs> in these tours, like what happened, how much did it sell for, did it ever sell? Put a comment in there. Yeah, let us, us know, because then that might motivate us to make like some follow up videos and and uh, dive into what happened to some of these properties we're showing you. I mean, I'm interested, so. Okay, there's Kurt. Kurt. Nice hustle. Appreciate that run back to the car. Okay. Get back in right there. We're right in front. Come Ooh, on. what is this? Multiple signage. What's yeah. the multiple signage? Several listing agents selling this one. Two million. Okay. Oh, wow, that one down to the studs, or is it's it probably just the, the garage? That's, maybe it's just the garage. So, all right, Morel, we're over here by the Mesa Lane, Douglas Preserve. Access. Um. All right, here's a little street scene on this one. Morel, always a nice little spot, but bravo to this guy and his little wildflower front yard. Bees are stoked. That's nice. I like it. These little things. All right, let's go see this house. Do a little street view. Oh, look at the neighbor went up. Did something a while ago, it looks like, but you can see the, the potential. Wow, it's been there for a while. But this one's got nothing but potential, really. Uh, it's a little tired. All right, so. This one's got some tile on the floor. You walk into this living room and it meanders over to this. Looks like it's been added onto over the years, maybe a little bit hodgepodgey. But uh, here's the kitchen featuring this big skylight. And you've got this, which was probably a porch or something that was enclosed at some point. And the garage. Decent size, but pretty tattered. to the ceiling. Yeah. Then uh, the bedrooms over here, you got a closet or a, uh, a door that separates it. Pretty basic bedroom, tile on the floor. This bedroom's got a little bathroom. Needs everything, it looks like. But being about a quarter acre, it's a little bit larger than most properties on the Mesa in this neighborhood, so this lot is interesting. And it looks like it's pretty deep, so let's go check it out. Yeah. This is... Pretty big yard for this neighborhood, so this is an interesting feature here. Really deep. <laughs> Here's the outside of that enclosed patio area. They've also extended it off the garage here, so you get an extra little workshop. Oh, there it is. Close to the beach, close to the Douglas Preserve. Two million. 
Good amount of square footage, good amount of lot. Could use a little bit of a, a redo. I am totally clueless on what property has been selling on the Mesa for. Well, that one, I mean, it needs It needs lot. everything, but it, it's got but a it's decent a amount of square footage and a good sized lot. And you're really close to this open space in Mesa Lane Beach. So, I don't know, that one, that'll be interesting. I think it was probably priced right and it could pop right away, but it may take 30 days. But everything on the Mesa just is getting hammered. It's really? Like, yeah. So. Deep lots though, really deep. Almost everything. And then there's, uh, straight ahead is Ealing's. You probably can't make it on the video, but that's where they launched the paragliders. Oh yeah, you can see it. What are the three names of this beach? Royal Borough, yep. Henry's, yep. The Pit. Oh, there it is. Boom. Dog washing station right there, because this is Santa Barbara's dog beach. One, of, out, the, one of the biggest. It says off leash to the left, leash to the right. Yes. Although, I think the city ordinance is that dogs always have to be on the leash. So I think it's like an unofficial really? off leash zone. I could be wrong, but. Yeah. I mean, it seems pretty bold that they say, go ahead and take your leash off over there, and it's still a city ordinance. But it's like marijuana laws, right? Yeah. Federally not approved. State yeah. approved. Pit laws, they're like, dogs are cool. I don't care what the city says. It's the pit. <laughs> right? Another little park right up in there. Yeah. A little secret lookout. Do you want to jump out? I do. Yeah, do it. Thank you, Joe. Yep. We got the uh, boathouse right here. Great restaurant right on the beach. I love breakfast at the boathouse. Watch dolphins play. Great lunch, too. I mean, it's great all around, but I really enjoy the breakfast. That's where I usually go to the boathouse. Um, you can also grab a cocktail, I think, and take it onto the beach and go for a walk. It's left over from COVID era. Always nice couple front row parking spots. Another thing about Santa Barbara, the parking at the beach down here, this is still free parking if you can find a spot. It's busy right now, but that's kind of cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. He's back. Phew. No, I wash my hands. Thanks. Oh. Yeah. I actually saw a little bit of line though. Really? Oh. Early that's wind swell? swell but... uh, early afternoon wind swell. This is the secret. When you're approaching like when you're driving to the beach you just got to start putting it out there that someone's going to pull out and give you a parking spot just start manifesting it early on your <laughs> on your trip and then once you get to the parking lot the universe is taking care of you and lined it up and someone pulls out and you pull right in so you're done. Done, 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 done okay i'm loving these purple flowers all over the place yeah those are cool let's take a little jaunt through oh, a, a drive into the good old hope ranch First, Campanile Hill. Sometimes confused with Hope Ranch, not Hope Ranch. Some really nice properties. You still might spend 10 million bucks on a place, but you're not at Hope Ranch. <laughs> skirt, skirt. That's cool. That's a cool little VW hybrid. Van hybrid truck. Call me Van. But the city needs to do something about these potholes over here. These and roads are a little rough. Yeah, for a $10 million property. West side was doing a little better. <laughs> All right, this is a great lookout too. If you yeah. guys are still with us, this is important because if you're new to Santa Barbara, take this drive past the pit up here and to the left of your screen. Pull over. You'll see these cars. That's the lookout. I think a lot of people are up here for lunch. Uh huh. Are you gonna go for it? I'm just gonna talk. I'm not getting off. I'm just going to oh, give them oh. a little taste. Let's see if I can get it without getting my hand in there. Boom. You see all that? Great view. Yeah. That's not so, even a clear day. This is a great place to park if you got to chill out and do some work in your phone or you want to chill with someone Hang in the out. car. Yeah. Have a talk. Yeah. Discuss life. That's right. <laughs> now we are turning into Hope Ranch. There it is. The gates. The gate. Look at the camera watching us. Oh, wow. Hope Ranch cams. You're on patrol. You're on security. Yeah, some 
the Queen Palms. Was this the King Palm? Queen Palm? I love it. They line this street. Yeah, it's awesome right here. I got a great video about living in Hope Ranch on the channel. So if this is a, a spot that you're curious about, you definitely. dive deep into it. Yeah, that will take you deep, man. I'll take you down on the beach, show you about the bridal trails, the picnic areas, the tennis courts, Laguna Blanca School. Bridal trail going up that yep. way. Yep. I mean, if you're into horses, you could get a horse property in Hope Ranch, jump on your horse, get on a bridal trail, ride it to the beach, go down on the beach and gallop in the water's edge. <laughs> oh, there goes a coyote. Oh, Did you see it? I just caught the tail, but it's on video. It should be. Oh, it's a, yeah. No, it's a fox. It's a fox. That's a fox? Yeah. Get it on your video. Sorry. That's a coyote, bro. That's a fox, bro. How do you know? Because of the colors. Go a little forward. There's a car behind you now. Look at him, man. He's on the horse trail. He's like, forget horses. This is the coyote trail. No, this is the fox trail. Fox. Red fox. Wow. Cool. He had this the is... red and then that um, black and the gray. That means fox? Yeah. Oh. That's a fox. And his face. You could see his face was much smaller. And what's, uh, what are you more concerned about as far as your pets? The fox or the coyote? If you have a smaller pets, uh, cats, yeah, or smaller dogs, yeah, coyote. Okay. Because generally they they hunt more in packs, so there's going to be more than just one. Okay. Um, that looked like the a fox wolf. Are, the fox are pretty small, you know, oh, like. It was a foxy fox. That's, <laughs> that's a good looking fox. Uh, that was sweet. That was sweet. That was so amazing. Let's just give a little recap of the nature scenes. Like, this is a Santa Barbara tour today, but um, we've seen the hawk take out the dove. And yep. I mean, that, was, that guy was I'm, hot on the trail I'm, of now something. Now I'm really disappointed I didn't video that. I, I really blew that. I'm, I'm usually really... I'm pretty sure that. we've got it crossing the street on this bad boy. Yes. You're going to have to, like... Pull an image yeah. and then zoom in. I will. And then I'll, I'll do that something. with the with the hawk as well because that was pretty cool. So wildlife galore in Santa Barbara. Bring your binoculars and your camera if you're into that wildlife stuff because we got lots of it. It's not a great shot, but I do have some video. Okay. Too. Okay. Good. Spotted. Keep your pets and children in, indoors. This guy's on the loose. You should put it on next door. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, cool Lock car. What was that? It's like a. Yeah, that was a good one. That was the color of that house on a drilla. Great golf course. One of the best in town, Lacumba Country Club. If you know somebody that ever invites you to play there, go play. It's beautiful. Yes, take them up on it. And if you move to Santa Barbara and you love golf, that's where you're going to want to join. Join there before Montecito Club because it's a way better golf course. Do you know what they're going to do with the old Sears here at Lacumbra? That is, they're just waiting out their time to where they could uh, redevelop it and it's going to become a massive amount of housing. Is it? Yeah. What do they have to wait out? Some type of lease or some kind of uh, land use um, deal. Mm. Interesting. So it's going to be like, like, you know, condos or apartments yeah. like this? Yeah, super high density. Lots of them. Um, five point shopping center here. Going through some shake up. We lost Fresco. We lost La Salsa. Yeah. Um, we lost Pretty Saigon. Empty, huh? Yeah, but Saigon's gone. Too. Little Alex's is coming there. Oh, Little Alex's from Montecito? Yeah. Well, they got They got killer. kicked out of Montecito and they're going to be opening here, which is great because I love their um, chicken soup. I miss it. I like their breakfast burrito. Yes. All right, back dooring it back into the office, which means we've concluded this video. Any parting words in this one? Um, parting words would be that I'm gonna, we're gonna do some. I'm gonna do some kind of follow up. I'm gonna do the work. We're gonna get that. I'm intrigued to see what some of these properties do. Okay. All right. And we start if by you need alone, listing the properties. Find my info. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd love to help you out. Yes. Or even just answer your questions. 
second opinion, whatever you need, just let me know. That's right. A lot of interesting things happening in the mortgage world and more important now than any other time to have a guy like Brahmi in your corner answering oh, your questions, guys. right? And a guy like Joe for your real estate. That's why we're here for you people. Thanks for watching. Make it a great one. We love you.